Welcome back to the channel you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm going to try to make this quick. This is like a second part to a previous video. Those of you who had not seen the previous video, I'm going to try to fill you in real quick because we're about to take this boat to the pond and uh, give it a test. All right. Uh, normally I run a 30 or 32 millimeter 0.4 pitch or 1.4 pitch propeller on the boat. Okay. Small props. All right. Trying to run a bigger prop now. Trying to pick up some more speed, basically. This is a 637, and I've got a 531 right here. All right, little more pitchy prop. This is a big prop for this boat. I got a Dynamite 60 in the boat, SSS 2960, 3000, and um, I've got this new remote. Okay, last time I was out, I had just hooked it up to the boat. DX5 rugged, this thing is the bee's knees. Uh, tough, tough, lots of parameters, lots of tunable parameters in this remote. Um, you guys know I'm, I'm used to like STX2s. This is the nicest remote I've got up to now. Uh, DX2E, all right, and I use that in my trucks. Um, when we were out, all right, I had set my throttle travel to... 150%. All right, if you set your throttle travel or your steering travel on a on a on a servo to 150%, you're going to get extreme throw. All right, extreme. All right, it's going to give you like more throw than what you need, right? So, I had my throttle set to 150, giving me way more throttle than I should have had set, okay? So, we're going to take it out to the pond. All right, I'm going to take I'm going to put it on a hundred all right just like it was okay uh we're gonna run the 1300 milliamp smart pack all right i've run this pack in this boat it's freaking blazing fast with this pack it, it handles good and uh it's light the boat's light all right we're gonna see if it has a power cut halfway through the run or, or not even halfway through the run like one lap around the trees uh if it does have a power cut then on a hundred percent then we know it's not the radio, then it's the propeller overloading the ESC, or I'm asking too much from these batteries, okay, basically. Um, if it has a power cut with the small battery, we're going to put the big battery, the 2250C pack, and see if it has a power cut with the big propeller on 100%, alright? Uh, just kind of doing process of elimination here. If you guys have a boat, you're probably going to have to do this at some point or another. All right, try to figure something out like this. Uh, if, you know, if you're trying different props, if you're having power cuts or, or you're hooking up new remotes uh, to your boat, new speed controllers to your boat that you're not familiar with, etc. You're going to have to try to do process of elimination. 100%, I'll see you at the pond. That's 1300 milliamp 30 C pack with 60 amp speed control and uh, 2960 3000 kV motor. Uh, I, I may be expecting a little too much from the bat batteries. All right, so so far so good. All right, so that's one full 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 clip around the trees. Okay, and I just flipped it. That's what it was. I had, I had the travel set too high, asking too much for from the ESC. Oh, it did a damn barrel roll. I was asking too much from the ESC. Oh, it's actually running good. All right, so it wasn't the batteries, it wasn't the speed control, it was the travel. That's the 637 on this boat. Had 150% travel. Way too much. Look at there, it's taking it, y'all. All right, I didn't even get a half a lap around the trees before. Okay, I didn't even get a half a lap around the trees. I was wondering, I'm like, what in the world was it, man? I knew it wasn't the speed control, it's brand new, the battery's brand new, the motor's pretty much new. It was, uh, it was me. It was the, the setting I had on the on the remote. I didn't recalibrate it. All right, that's my battery. Okay, it will take a larger prop. Um, that's just what you got to do when you're when you're running a boat. You're trying to rule out certain certain uh, problems. You've got to you got to test it. You got to think about every every scenario. Okay, so um, let's actually let's put the big battery in. All right, I want to try the big battery with this 637. And then I want to try a little battery, big battery with the 531. Okay, so I've actually got a 534 coming and a 533, maybe, I guess. Uh, on the way, on the way, it's on the way. 
I've also got a, a new prop for this boat. I got a 642 and a 645 on the way for that boat. So uh, I'm just starting to tune. The next video will be tuning this boat. Uh, just, just getting into her. Just getting into her. So the speed control, 122, 122 back there. The battery, 77. The motor, 74 back end bell on the motor 74 so that's about as big a prop as I could put on this boat um, it wanted to flip a couple times this boat uh, it likes smaller props from what I've noticed with my particular boat it likes a smaller prop so um, let's put the 2250 C in it's gonna be a little heavy but we've got a, a, a pitchier prop that may help let's try it out let's see what happens with the smart battery the 2200 looks like it's about to rain you guys sorry about the the dark video here got some bad weather i believe coming here in north carolina it's nice out here today hell it's 70 degrees out here it was 84 today Okay, that dynamite tape right there, this dynamite tape. I've tried a bunch of different tapes, that dynamite tape's the best. 2200 milliamp, 50C 3S pack, 637, all right? Um, I've actually got to work on this prop. I hit something the other day with it. It's got a little ding in it right there on the tip. A little heavier, it's gonna be a little heavier, but we got a pitchy prop, oh! Oh yeah, oh man, she's a freaking rocket. Oh, oh that dynamite's getting off, son. That's what this freaking boat needed, that damn 60. Oh man, this remote right here, it's got super fast responses, you guys. I feel so much more comfortable running this boat with this DX5 rugged. Oh, it flipped. And we landed it. I feel so much more comfortable running the boat in this pond with this DX5, it's got fast response, you guys. I'm talking about fast. Oh, it barrel rolled and we landed it. That heavy battery, you gotta take it easy in the corners, man. She wants the barrel roll. Which I could tune that out, I'm sure. I got the ride pads on here, my ironclad turn fin bracket. Gosh, she's a rocket, you guys. I'm not even giving it full trigger. I'm scared to. Full trigger. Full trigger, full trigger, full trigger. Oh, she's a rocket, son. That 2250C is bad, boy. Just a little little handling issue with it, with the heavy boat, you know? It's somewhere around 920 grams with that battery now. 800 and something with the small battery. 850, I think, 825. Oh, she's a rocket. Oh, I'm loving this DX5, you guys. Oh my God, that's an upgrade from the STX2, y'all. That's all I've ever really used here, you know, the last few years is a uh, STX2. Now I have a DX2E controller and, and it's nothing. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't say it's nothing. It's, it's nice. It has fast response, quicker response than the STX2. But this rugged is, oh my God, the response time on this thing is un amazing. It's a freaking amazing. Full trigger, full trigger. Oh man. Oh, we broke a rod pad off damn it was it was a beast okay i didn't get to try out the 531 because uh my last little run there I, my, my my birch ride pad snapped off okay which uh i knew that they were going to be um temporary you know I, I, I told you guys that whenever i first made the video so i'll make another ride pad and uh we'll get back to it on another video but i did figure out what was wrong with the boat okay process of elimination all right um it was the travel all right i had it set too high okay so if your boat is uh you know you're putting a pitchy propeller on you're trying something different and um you got your travel set too high okay i didn't get a chance to run it at 122 there but um it it definitely does make a difference and uh i'm, I'm glad i figured it out i'm glad i freaking figured it out you guys um this rugged right here is the bee's knees y'all it's super comfortable in the hand all right very ergonomic freaking awesome got 
so many features I can't even begin to name them all. Little 1300 milliamp batteries, but they took it. Okay, no swelling, the batteries weren't hot. It freaking took it. Um, I stepped it up to the 2200 milliamp. She's a freaking rocket. It took it. The speed control of the Dynamite 60 took it. Okay, uh, we got it figured out. We got her figured out. All right, it was simple. All right, this thing, this thing is way more advanced than I ever freaking thought I would get a hold of. Okay, this is a nice remote. It's super nice. Great upgrade for any boat <laughs> or car our truck air whatever that thing's bad um temperatures were cool with the with the x637 on it all right she kept she kept it up i'm proud of her good job ironclad huh yeah man we'll, we'll uh we'll get the ride pad put back on the boat unfortunately she broke off somehow um i guess it didn't have the front like glued down all that power speed she just like yeah yeah it happens i knew it was a temporary ride pad we'll get we'll get we'll get back on it all right so thank you guys for watching big b with ironclad rc a channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc we'll see you guys next time all right all oh, those batteries are bomb y'all those batteries are bomb